What? Oh, this can't be good. The digital picture frame's dead. Well, it lives down in this junk, so I gotta clear all this crap out of here, and it lives in this thing that I might be able to open. It has like a garage door thingy. You can see the mouse there. Uh, I know that this is not an opportune spot for this thing, and there's no opening in the back for heat output, so it's bad. But it's been here for, I don't know, four or five, maybe even six years. It's been running, no problem, but now we do. So let's see what's going on. Well, here it is in none of its glory. It's an old compact desk pro. Pentium 3 um, came with 2000 or 98. Front panel audio, I forgot about that. I haven't seen this machine in a long time. Really small form factor. And we need to open it. I think you press the buttons and slide there. And then that comes off. All right, now it has been oh, six or seven years since I've been in this. The problem is the fan. That's one of the problems. The fan is noisy, so we need to service that. And that looks like it's going to be a job and a half. Because uh, <laughs> even though the fan is right here, the way it faces is in. And the part I need to get to is here. And if you can see these screws, that means i got to open the whole fucking supply just to get that out. Now, the system does turn on, and it will run for some time. But the problem is, uh, especially now that we're in the summer months, the AC, when that kicks on, uh, it, it can't handle the power disturbance, and it shuts down. Uh, that, coupled with the heat, if I don't have the AC running, it, it's just a mess. Uh, I don't remember how to do anything on this. Here, this lifts up, I think. Oh, it looks like there. Okay, it just pulls out. This is a PCI riser, as you can see there. And there is a lonely modem that will never be used. There's also an ISA slot in there, if I ever wanted to put an ISA card in there. And there are a couple of other ports on it that don't tell me much of anything so we need to, don't need that one gotta get these drives out um geez it's just been it looks like this pulls up or it's got an arrow that it does did the i forget how these things go together and come apart see it, it's got an arrow it says up and it don't go uh, this is one of those cases where it's not a good thing. It looks like the whole cage wants to tilt forward. So I guess I'm going to have to stop the camera. Uh, yeah, it's hinged here. See, there's a spring. But I don't know why it won't release. This side is free. Just this side isn't. And I'm not sure why. So let me stop the camera and I'll find out what the hell is going on. Okay, there we are. Now you probably can't see it, but the reason is there's a little catch over here. And you have to kind of move it and then it'll lift. The board looks perfectly fine. Uh, I'll turn the system around so you can see over here. There's really nothing to see. There's your Pentium 3. It's a slot chip. There are two sticks of RAM in here. They're each 64 meg, and if I'm not mistaken, I do not have any 128s. But I am going to look before I put this thing back together. Uh, 128 does serve it, but <laughs> not well. It does have onboard etherwebs and two serial ports, which is a big plus. And that's really it. Now, we do have to get the damn supply out. And chances are that should be toolless. Oh, and in fact, there's a diagram here. So it says no screwdriver, 
and uh, we'll see how true that actually is. It looks like the supply is supposed to just pivot out. Oh, there we go. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this has a completely proprietary thing, so this may be the end of the road for this uh, system. The supply... I, you know, if it's dead, it's dead. There's nothing I can do. And there's no way that you're going to be able to see this exactly. But the metal here covers the screw. So I have to actually dismount the supply and get it out. So we're going to have to unplug power. What a mess. So there's that. So now theoretically I can remove the supply, but I think I have to remove a couple screws. And I guess the optical drive gets power from a proprietary port on the board. It's one of those slimline drives. So anyways, let me do a little more surgery and see what can happen. Well, there were two uh, Torx T18s in there. Took out this bracket and these two screws. There are two number one looking Phillipses is on either side here. I wonder if the fan will just slide out and maybe that'll work nicely. Damn, I didn't know this thing was so proprietized so if this supply dies, I'm not even going to source a replacement. This thing is just going to go and be scrapped. Uh, I do have another small form factor system, but it is severely underpowered. Well, that didn't seem to buy us much of anything. What? Oh. Okay, that took that bracket off. Uh, one, two. Still can't get to the other two screws. See that? They're inside the fucking thing. So I have to start taking the supply apart. Oh, God. The, uh, the warranty is void on this, by the way, just in case you weren't aware. I'm actually rather surprised there is a severe lack of dust. This screw does not want to come out. Well, that, that's going to certainly help matters. Well, let's work on a couple other screws and see if it'll pull apart any other way. Are these screws the same? Yes. I'm hoping that because the fan isn't running properly, it's actually overheating. But something tells me the, the caps in this thing are cooked and... That's it. It doesn't pay to, like I said, source a replacement or anything because of how old this system is. And uh, I would have just as soon hooked up another supply to it, but uh, I can't even do that. Well, I'm going to have to get this damn screw out. So it's going to have to come out, and that's that. It's going to fight me the entire way. So I'm going to say some things that Susan will not approve of, so I'll stop camera until I can get that out. Well, uh, that screw ain't coming out, and I can't drill it because when I do... See, the problem with that screw is that when I turn it... If I can get the damn screwdriver in there. The whole screw just turns. The hole is stripped. So I can't get it out. Now, from what I can see inside caps look okay. I'm going to try, and I don't know if it's going to work, so this is going to be the next step, removing these two screws, and hopefully the metal of the power supply case will bend and allow me to at least service the fan, and then we'll see. So there, that's out, and well, that, that doesn't sound good. I don't know what the hell is breaking in there. Aha! The fan itself. But that's okay. <laughs> now I have two screws <laughs> that are... That's great. 
they're stuck, they'll push in and go under the board where they could short it. That should just did. Okay, yeah, this is going to be great. Well, you know what? If it went in, maybe I could shake it back out. So let me play with that and see if I can get it. I'll just push the other one in because, yeah, that one came out. So I'll shake it until I can get that screw out. There it is. Beautiful. Now we can fix it. Perfect. I don't care about the screws or anything else on that. They'll just go in the pile of screws. The fan runs, but it's noisy. The supply, see it's starting to want to come apart here now that the fan is out but that's as far as it'll go and all the caps that I can see inside look to be just fine really just fine 